to my channel for vlogmas hopefully i get this up for today day is today day seven yes day seven i hope i get this up today i don't want to break my streak but today has just been a lot it's been a lot and so i've just kind of been like eh i really probably don't even have the time to edit a video but i'm still gonna do it because it will bring me some peace and some calm if this is your first time welcome <laughs> sorry this is like a mellow vlogmas intro it's okay i got some stuff for us to have a little bit of fun at least on this video but welcome anyway i ran through starbucks and got some of their holiday drinks i saw this uh, video idea on a few channels and i was like you know what i'm gonna do it i'm also recording on my phone right now um so if the quality looks different that's why i'm actually using the cinematic mode on the new 13 uh, pro max have this cinematic video mode but because the lighting is all weird and all of that it's not really looking as cinematic as it would uh otherwise but yeah i got some holiday drinks for us to try and i'm just gonna like talk to you guys i guess <laughs> sorry this is not the most fun vlogmas but welcome to my day you know when you get daily vlogs you get the real real okay so anywho um i just got my booster shot um i got pfizer back in um april and then my second dose was in may um i actually got it while i lived in virginia so then um, i signed up for the booster i was nervous because originally i was going to get the booster and the flu shot at the same time i've been inconsistent i'll be honest with my flu shots um i never really had them i maybe got the flu shot like once when i was a kid maybe or whenever it came out but i don't really get the flu i can't remember if i've ever ever even had the flu maybe when i was younger but i definitely haven't had the flu like any time and i have never had the flu that i can remember um which is a blessing i'm grateful for that um even without the vaccine to have not been getting the flu but um when i started working for like schools and stuff like that it became i think a requirement for us to get the flu shot working in schools just because kids they they do a lot with the whole passing of uh all the things so um that's when i started getting them and then um i think last year i got one they had like a free drive-through and i've never had reactions to vaccines as well so some of you are probably like in horror hearing all the like oh my gosh you get stuck that often um and i'm probably not i'm i know i'm not the most like up to date with all the vaccines and things that you can get i don't always feel the need to get all the things that you can get however the way COVID is running in these streets and that just i want to get out of this COVID world <laughs> so badly god i am getting the boosters and things um and so anyways i said all that to say i was scared because i was gonna get them both um when i went to sign up for the booster they listed all these other ones that you can get at the same time that you know they've been tested no harm blah blah blah, blah. so i was like okay well i might as well get the flu out the way ended up not getting it because um at the cbs i went to um they said there would be a copay when they ran my health insurance and i know for a fact that osu health insurance um like when you use their in network and really their like on campus health um hospitals and all that kind of stuff which are in network i could get that stuff for free so i'm like i'm not paying i think it was like 28 dollars for a flu shot i'm literally giving y'all 28 dollars when i could go get a free flu shot and i'm not that pressed so yeah i just ended up getting the booster um it did kind of hurt going in which i thought was interesting um now i do have that like with shots where i'll have like sometimes some arm pain the worst i've ever had was with a i think it was tetanus i will never forget it my arm was out of commission for about 48 hours it was crazy i couldn't lift it past like here it was weird um and so i'll have like a little bit of pain sometimes with shots and with covid i did have some soreness in my arm but like I didn't have all the like chills and all the other stuff that people say they be dealing with when they get shots. So yeah, I just went ahead and got it and I'm fine. Like even though I hurt kind of going in, like I felt it, I don't even feel any stiffness related to how I felt when I got the original vaccine back early in the year. So 
I'm chilling and I hope it stays that way because I don't have time to be down because the reason I feel and look the way that I do is because there's a lot going on with work right now. And a girl is just, woo, it's already difficult. I mean, I already talked to you guys about that. It's already difficult when you're not passionate about what you're doing. You know, not passionate. Hmm. How do I say that? Because I am passionate about the, the issues that we deal with. But like the work as it currently stands just is not, I mean, I've already talked to you guys about that, okay? If you need to know more about that, go watch, what, day two? Being in that state, already being kind of just burnt out in general and looking for a break. And then demands and extra demands are put on you on top of the work that you're already struggling to, you know, be okay with completing. Ooh, and deadlines are coming and it's the end of the semester and that is the worst part I think about <laughs> my choice of job like I told you guys I don't like the feeling that I'm still in school like this is how I used to feel actually it was probably times 50 but this is this feeling is how I used to feel while I was in school because end of the semester finals papers everything's due all the panic all the anxiety Blah. and I hate the fact that I'm currently still living that even though I'm out of school can a girl just be free of the trauma of college shouldn't have accepted a job on a college campus huh Gaby is that what y'all are telling me that's fine okay and that's fine <laughs> Okay, so let's get into some of these drinks. So I just got talls of everything. I got a tall, so I'm trying the holiday drinks at Starbucks. Uh, there were two that I didn't get. So there were five on the menu when I went to Starbucks.com. There were five drinks on the menu that are the holiday menu. And I only got three. Um, because the first one was a peppermint mocha. I don't, mint in drink form is never going to be it for me not even really in food form i will eat a mint i know that sounds weird i'll eat a peppermint like you know fresh in my breath whatever i even like pep peppermints but the taste of mint like mint flavored ice cream and all of that lost me so didn't get the peppermint mocha and then there was the ice um cold brew coffee something that was like real coffee and i don't drink real coffee so there's that okay so we have a tall sugar cookie almond latte um it says blonde those who are starbucks aficionados what does that mean tell me in the comments mm. i don't know what i'm tasting i mean it's not bad but it's just like is it recognizable the flavor or am i oh okay it's in the aftertaste Sugar cookie almond latte. Am I getting sugar cookie? I don't know if it's me, but that kind of just tastes like what I know a caramel macchiato or something to be. Like, I don't know if that has a distinct flavor. Um, it's okay. We'll try again. This one is a tall caramel brulee. Is there something more to that? Title? I don't know. I can't look because the menu's on my phone and I'm recording on my phone. So, on here it says tall caramel brulee. Okay, let's taste this. Mmm, okay. The texture is different of this. Mm. It's definitely good, but is it me? Both of these just taste like milk. Like, I'm not getting the sweet. I'm not getting the car. Not getting the caramel flavor. Wait a minute. So recognize that it's five o'clock and I'm drinking three cups of coffee because I can't waste it. Okay. My boyfriend's coming over later, so maybe I'll shove some of these down his throat. Um, because if I drink all three of these, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. I got the I got a grande of the toasted. Oh gosh, white is it white chocolate mocha frappuccino? I think that's what that is. Oh, this the one. Oh, oh baby, this is the one. I don't even want them other ones. The texture is perfect. I will so say though that like you can see the sprinkles, hopefully. Yeah, the sprinkles and stuff in it, whipped cream. It's very sweet. 
so full on disclaimer i'm not a huge coffee person okay so the coffee people might like one of our our latte friends here um or brulee I don't not like them. They're just very much coffee. Like if I wanted t the taste of coffee, which sometimes I do, I never want the real like black taste of coffee, <laughs> but sometimes I do want like a coffee, a coffee or flavor. I don't know. I think it's mental, but I feel like it wakes me up. Then I'll go, I, you know, I would go for one of those, but this is like sweet. This is a treat. This is like what I wanted them all to taste like. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Have you all tried the um, the holiday drinks? Let me know uh, what you think about them. Even if you like one of the ones that I refuse to get because I wouldn't take them <laughs> and I'm not wasting my money. Let me know if you guys have tried them. I think I'm gonna do a Dunkin' version of this video as well and hopefully I'll be having a better day so that, you know, I don't, um, <laughs> don't have such low energy on here. I'm trying this again. Wow, it tastes even less sweet now that I've had the Frappe. This literally, y'all, tastes like a cup of milk. This here, um, I, uh, what is this? Sugar cookie almond latte. It's giving nothing. I don't know if they just made it wrong. It literally tastes like nothing. <laughs> a big cup of hot milk with a hint of coffee. No sweet. Like, when you have something called a sugar cookie almond latte... Almond milk latte? Yeah, almond milk, okay. Sugar cookie almond milk latte? Where's the sugar cookie? You can't put a title like that if it's just gonna taste like coffee. Oh, I don't know, y'all. Maybe y'all Starbucks are better than mine and it'll actually taste like something. Let's try this uh, caramel brulee again. That one's okay, that one's better. Like I, I taste a little bit more of something in that. I had to double check. And for whatever reason, I don't know if it's something about brulee. Again, coffee aficionados will know. But the texture of that one is like so smooth. And something about the I, the sugar cookie one is not. It's a little more gritty. I don't know. Is that the word? But back to my friend, the frat. Mm. Oh, that is blessing me. Um, I did have something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. Last night, I was in Akron. Still, y'all know I was there this weekend. And um, I, first of all, the photo shoot went amazing. I will show you guys that. I recorded it, the whole vlog sometime by the end of the week. But um, later that night, we had a worship shed. It was actually on the late night. So it was nine o'clock is when it started at my friend's church. She invited a whole bunch of people from all over Akron and Warren and just like the Northeast Ohio area, uh, worship leaders, singers, um, to do a worship shed. It actually was being recorded for the uh, National Inspirational Youth Convention. If you've heard, in the past I did vlogs of us going to NIYC, if you've been around long enough. Um, but now they're doing virtual, obviously, because of COVID. And so the last couple of years, they've been recording worship um, for that. And so that's what yesterday's shed was for. But obviously, when we get together and it's time to worship, like, Forget the cameras, forget the lights, like we have worship encounters. And y'all, I mean, we prayed for it to happen, so I shouldn't be surprised, but like full on God encounter last night. Like full on, just, if you're not a believer, this is probably like missed on you and that is totally okay, I understand that. But maybe some of my believers can relate. Like there is something so sweet and so precious about the presence of God. Like when you tap in, it is like none other. It feels like another world. And I get frustrated because I wish I could stay in that world. Like I wish I could stay in that world. And I know that biblically, that world should be carried in us through the Holy Spirit, that we will have the power of the fruit of the Spirit to carry on the power of those moments in our everyday lives. And I am working on it. That is my honest, I'm working on it. Like I hope I never personify to you all that I am some like perfect believer just because I grew up in the church and you know I've been around the church for so long and have a relationship with Christ that you know I share with you all in my testimony and things but I think the area of my life I was just talking about this last night as well but the next level of my faith walk I think that God is trying to call me to and mature me to is 
that when life is like this, up and down, all around, that I'm here. Steady, stable, anchored. And that to me is a sign of a mature believer. And I am, I don't wanna say I'm ashamed to say because shame is not of God, we are not condemned. Um, those of us who are in him. So I'm not shame, ashamed of this, but I feel a way sometimes about the fact that literally I, I struggle with the ups and downs of life. I really do. Like when things are going well and things are, you know, lining up and all of that, I, it's so much easier for me to tap into a life of peace, of joy, of just being steady, you know? But when life starts doing this, I'd be riding that wave right with it. And it's so unhealthy and it's so not a sign of the God that I serve and the trust that I claim to have in him. And so all that to say last night, we were really just almost calling that out. Really one of the um, singers, when he just got to exhorting and you know, just kind of flowing with the spirit, he started speaking toward that. And he said, um, toward the end, he said it's graduation day we are moving to a new level. Like we are leaving this old stuff, this same old sad song that we keep talking. We're leaving that in the past and we're moving, we're moving ahead. And man, again, the freedom in that moment that we felt of just like shedding off the yuck and the, the, the you know, constantly rehearsing what's wrong and what needs to be fixed and then just moving forward and trusting God for this next level, this next level of faith. Man, I felt that last night. And then today when life hit and I'm back at work and the to-do list has piled up because I was out of town and when I'm off of work, I really be off of work. I don't do the whole split time thing anymore. I'm really working on that because when I was in school, everything blurred together. So work was free time, free time was work, and it just was a mess. And I was unhealthy, unhappy. So I'm trying to get away from that. But the consequence of that is now when I come back to work, I got, you know, 40 emails waiting on me um, just from missing one day of work. And, you know, all these other additional things being piled on top of me and it felt for a minute there like even today I felt a little bit defeated because I'm like dang I just had this moment last night I just spoke against this last night that we're not picking up this old stuff we are moving forward uh, uh, to another level of faith where we are steady and stable regardless of what's going on but this is just I guess my transparency with y'all that it's a journey and I'm still working on it. And at least now I'm recognizing it and I'm calling it out. So oh, sorry, I was really interrupted by a phone call and now it's getting dark and the lighting is getting worse. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, wow, and you're getting all the static of my radio in the background. I have yet to find a radio station in Columbus, so that's why I'm all static. Um, but yeah, I was just sharing that, you know, this faith walk is a journey and i'm really learning a lot i know i know for a fact already 2022 i'm not canceling out 2021 the lord is still doing things in 2021 we still have three weeks two and a half weeks of 2021 so i'm not rushing 2021 away but what i am sure of is that 2022 is going to be loaded that god is really going to blow my mind a lot of big decisions are going to happen in 2022 i know that for a fact I just, I feel it, I, I know it. I could probably list some right now that I just know are going to be things that I come up against or have to have to make big decisions about. And I just know my faith needs to be ready for that. Like I want my faith to be what it needs to be for me to make those moves. And so I'm trying to get there. Like I said, I'm aware of it and I'm working on it. This is me rambling. I pretty much finished the, uh, the Frappuccino I just wanted to have a video to post for you guys. And like I said, I do apologize for how awful this um, this quality is gonna be because my camera is definitely at home. And like I said, I almost wasn't gonna post a video, but on my way home from getting my booster, I was like, you know what, Gaby, roll up to Starbucks, get some drinks, stick with the, the calendar of events, give these people a video, keep your streak going, okay? Consistency somewhere helps my consistency everywhere else, so. 
I hope you all have enjoyed this. My final review, I would give this definitely like a 9 out of 10. Um, if not a 10 out of 10. The Caramel Brulee, I'm going to give like a 7, maybe... I was going to do 7.5, but that feels like um, inflation. <laughs> so, maybe a 7. This sugar cookie situation, again, like I said, maybe my people made it wrong. Sugar cookie almond milk latte, a 2, probably a 1. It just, uh, it wasn't giving me anything. I don't know what that was other than hot milk with a of coffee. <laughs> so... Hopefully, y'all people make it better. Maybe I'll try it again later, but probably not because Starbucks is expensive. And why am I buying coffee I'm not going to drink? But however, again, this, if you want some good treats and some sweets, the Grande Toasted White, what is it? Toasted White Mocha Frappuccino. You know, it's like hard to decipher these little letters that they put on these cups. What does it mean? All right, y'all. That's enough for one day, eh? I'm going to go home now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying. Um, again, even if today's energy wasn't the best, I really, really, really appreciate y'all for tuning in every day. Some of y'all have been really tuning in and have been either in my DMs or my comments every day. And I see you, and I really appreciate you, and I'm excited for the rest of Vlogmas. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!